Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. Come watch me stream. Yeah. It is the end of the day Thursday, the day after I got tested. I uploaded that I have this and I might be a false positive. I still do not know. Andrew not only made me pasta with olive oil and vegan Parmesan cheese, sometimes you just need the simple things, but he got his test results back and he is negative. So the question mark gets even bigger. I'm hoping that I get my results before I fall asleep or when I wake up. Uh, yeah, that tasted like last night's Domino's. <laughs> Just made some tea, eating. Yeah, it's really lit. Today has been a weird kind of day because everybody's getting the, the news I got yesterday, today. And so everybody's been like, oh my God, I hope you're feeling well. And I appreciate everybody caring so much because it really is so heartwarming. But I feel, I feel weird because I'm so like, whatever, cause I'm like, it's a false positive. <laughs> I'm just in denial. Like a good old little crocodile, I'm in denial. Yeah, thank you for all the, the nice comments and tweets and messages. Felt like my birthday all over, but for the, not birthday reasons and that i kind of feel weird if like it is a false positive like all of like i don't know like i just ugh. and i don't want this to come across as like oh this is the worst i know i'm complaining about the most fucking stupid problems this is just my experience Good morning everybody i look like absolute shit i slept like absolute shit but oh my god 8 28 in the morning friday november 20th these are the results from Dodger Stadium. Clicking the link. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. Oh my god, my test was negative. <sighs> oh my god, your COVID-19 test was negative, which means that the test found no evidence that you were infected with COVID-19 virus. A negative test, however, means that you were probably not infected at the time of testing. However, it is possible that you were tested early in your infection and that you could test positive later. Oh my god, okay. <coughs> okay. <sighs> I'm like literally shaking. I'm like relieved, but I'm 10 times more confused now. Andrew! Andrew! Fuck that bitch, he's asleep. <laughs> rushed into my office and thought I had a meeting after laying in bed, but it's weird. Okay, I'm happy. This test came back negative. There is hope. But false negatives are also a thing. And also, I woke up today with my stuffy nose and my cough that I've had for since the 5th when I originally got tested and it was negative. And today I woke up feeling stuffier and just more like congested. Congested? Congested? But then I got a negative result. So uh, this is all one giant mindfuck. And I'm waiting on my deep little, the deep bitch, the, the non-rapid nasal. I'm going to wait for that. And then maybe uh, if that one is negative, I will go out today and try and get um, more testing done. Because... <sighs> what is this light? Oh, it's bouncing off my car. Okay. But yeah, this is all so weird. I don't get this. I know this is probably paranoia, but I do want to be clear that, I don't know, I've in the last nine months have truly seen how crazy people can be. This wasn't, I'm not a plant. This wasn't planned. I never expected to have COVID, have a positive test for COVID. So I, you got, feel free to be like, Chris, shut the fuck up, literally. But I definitely just want to make it clear because I did post this first video saying I tested positive and if I end up not having it, I want it to be clear that that does not erase 
the importance of taking this shit seriously and wearing a mask and just getting tested routinely and understanding the whole situation regarding testing. This isn't a ploy to make people scared. Like, I don't know what people could think, but this is just very much what's happening to me. And it can happen to anyone because I am anyone. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel just literally insane having all of this go on and now with it being in front of everybody as well. Wow, my lips are so chapped and this camera is doing nothing to hide that. Yeah, it's probably just paranoia, but I wanna just make it clear because it's, I feel weird posting a video, I got tested positive for coronavirus and then posting a video, it was like a false positive. So I just, I want to make that clear. This is just what's happening, and I hope it's really encouraging everybody to remind you to take this seriously. This is scary. We're all one test away from our lives completely changing, possibly. I'm not going home for Thanksgiving this year. It's like my favorite time again, not because of all of the genocide that goes along with that history of Thanksgiving, but I just love it because it's such a great time to just spend the day with family and amazing food. And I'm not going home for it. I'm making sacrifices for the greater good. And I hope other people are making sacrifices as well because whatever, I'm just preaching at this point, but I'm just, the last few days have been just insane. And last night I like could barely sleep. My heart was pounding so hard just from anxiety. It's just, I wouldn't wish this kind of ambiguity on anyone. I know it's easy to get complacent in all of this and it's easy to lax up and think, oh, if I go here, it'll be fine. But just, do we need to go there? I don't know. Just remember that this is very real and very serious still. Over a quarter of a million people have died already in America alone. Guys, just please do your part. Make sacrifices. Sure, this year sucks. Leave it to this year. This can all be behind us. This is kind of my setup right now. I have my snack box right here. And I have some t-shirts that my trainer Cody gave me. New Story Market. I have my trash bags here so I can throw out my trash. I have my double masks and my humidifier. I've got my vodka. I know, whatever. I have... A little fridge in here that, oh, honestly, that's pretty embarrassing. Chris20, code at checkout. Lemon lime are the best. I've got some bread. I have tea that I make. I'm trying to, trying to keep the spirits light. I don't know, honestly. Is this interesting at all? And then in the bathroom, we have um, a smoothie that... I literally don't know what to do with because I'm not going to throw it in the trash bag. Next up, I have my clean dishes. This is where I do them. I have extra utensils. I have <laughs> dirty dishes. <laughs> it's really, it's really glamorous. Waiting on test number two to come back negative. And once that does, I'll go and get more tests. And then this will just officially be my full-time job. Mm. Ooh. Hello, edibles. <laughs> I really do appreciate everybody being so kind. I was like joking with Andrew on Xbox Live. We were playing Fortnite. And I was like, I feel like I've died almost. <laughs> Everybody's so concerned. And I'm, it's nuts because I feel fine. But that video was, I mean, that day was trauma. That, <laughs> that day was trauma. So... It's really been so nice to see so many people writing me, sending me shit. Very kind and I appreciate it. I'm trying to like make the best out of the situation. It's been causing me so much anxiety. Again, I'm lucky for my health and that I have like such an amazing place to be quarantined in. And I don't really have responsibilities that I can't do for my home. I'm, it's so insane how lucky I am. Oh, it's just wild because it feels easier to share this shit right now. Like, the, it just feels easy rather than, like, trying to do this and maintain shit without... without, like, saying anything. I don't know. 
I will say I am extremely stoked so if any of this made sense for me. Chris, go to bed. <laughs> also, I know I'm doing a lot of explaining and I'm trying to do less of that. I'm just like, I feel like if I don't explain, then it's going to be like something. Like, I don't know. You know? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so afraid of being cancelled. I don't know why. There's a fun fact. <laughs> fun fact, actually, literally so heartbreakingly sad fact. <sighs> it's too late to be quoted to a... Dunn? Is that our last name? Totally to laugh. Chris, go to bed. Hey guys, I figured I should check in. It's Saturday. And there's nothing to check in about. Now, I've, I've been doing a lot of middle kid designing. T-shirts are coming. But right now, Andrew has a negative test. I have a negative test. Katya has two negative tests. Ezzy has, like, three negative tests. And those are the only people I fucking see. So, it is Sunday morning. Rain is not falling. I have not found out the results of my second test, so I'm gonna call them. <laughs> Hi, um, I was, I got, I was looking to see if my test results were back from a COVID test. It was PCR. Is that true? Yeah, it was a PCR. Chris Clemens. Clemens is with a K. Oh my God, I'm gonna have fucking heart palpitations. It's negative? Yes. Ah, thank you so much! Oh my god, how did you go <laughs> Bye! Andrew, it's negative! Oh. Woo! Oh my god, that was... Oh my god, that was the longest phone call of my life. Oh my god, I'm recording. Oh god, this traumatic journey never ends. Oh my god, my heart rate is literally at 121. Can I come out maskless? Yeah, right? Hug me, brother! Oh, oh my god, you have a hot thing on your neck. Oh my god, that scared the- I was on hold for like 10 total minutes. <laughs> oh my god, my heart is literally at 125 now. Oh my god, this is such a relief. I have to call my mom. I have to- <laughs> Have to tell the internet. Oh, uh, God. I don't know. I knew I was negative. What a trip. What a trip. This has been, like, the most confusing time for me. I've had, like, I'm probably overexpanding. Okay, got it. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on this trip. If we learned anything, it's that you can test positive with no symptoms. That's a great reminder. Another one is to make sure to get multiple tests. Oh, my God, I'm negative. This has been the most confusing however many days it's been. <laughs> like, that day was truly trauma. Yeah. That day <laughs> was trauma TM. And TM, no, T-Y-S-M for watch. And goodbye. Thank you all for the kind wishes. I feel like a clown. I need to go to fucking bed.